Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Friday, January the 28th, 2011. Well, a very bearish candle today, and as we've seen with the intraday charts, the hourly charts, that uh, the bears were really in control for pretty much all of this day. Uh, we've had the market open up towards the high and close down towards the low, which means that the bears have... Uh, close this market with control and they've had control for the whole day. They've shown very strong commitment to taking this market lower. Now we're in Ichimoku charts terms, uh, sorry in candlestick terms this is also a uh, bearish engulfing um, candle and uh, very significant because not only has it engulfed the previous candle but it's engulfed one, two, three, four of the previous candles so that's very very significant. The only thing is though when this market was rallying and that was a wor one of the worrying features with this market as it was rallying in this first time frame we did have very small bodies on these candles and it's certainly not the type of candles that you want to see as a trend is trying to develop. It uh, certainly is a, uh, a warning sign especially this uh, uh, previous day's candle with this spinning top uh, type candle and the test of 1300 and the downside price rejection we've had price rejection from 1300 the round number for the third day in a row now and a significant um, amount of rejection from there today now uh, if the market does continue trending down then uh, we could find support anywhere within this uh, pattern that the market broke out of so that congestion pattern uh, may act as an area of support anywhere between uh, well, we're trading down below the top of it now, but the top of it was 12.78 down to uh, about 12.61. Uh, certainly, the swing low, roughly about 12.71, should hold, or has potential to hold as uh, support for this market. And uh, certainly down below there, we have some swing high, swing lows uh, down around 12.50 and 12, a minor one around 12.55, 12.56. If we do have a breakout down below the bottom of the uh, rectangle pattern at 12.61, now uh, in overall big picture terms, the market is trending up because we're uh, still trending up above the Ichimoku cloud, and we have been in this very strong uptrend for quite some time. And it's probably about time that we did see some sort of a correction in this market. Markets can't keep trending up for forever. And uh, we could see previously here we had a large red body candle, not as big as the uh, today's, and uh, the market recovers from that. So there is still a possibility that the market will recover. Now, technically, we don't have a downtrend in the first time frame yet. We actually have, in bar chart terms, an outside day. Uh, that in itself is very, very important, and it's also pretty close to being a key reversal day. Uh, now, uh, now in um, once again big picture terms, we are in a second time frame uptrend, and we can see the series of higher peaks and higher troughs uh, here. We still haven't made a lower trough. We still have a higher peak in place, though, and the market will most likely test around this 1271 area. Now, the market is trading down below the Tenkin Sen, which means that we're now bearish in the fast-term time frame. Now, if we look back here, it's been quite some time since the market was trading down below that green line, which is the Tenkin Sen, which represents the trend in the fast-term time frame. That really tells us something about how bullish this market was when it was trending up in this uh, very strong second time frame uh, uptrend. We had a lot of momentum in that market, so it's a little wonder that the market sold off uh, uh, quite sharply. Now, the market is trading pretty much at the Kijun Sen, which means that in medium term, uh, in the medium term time frame, the market is pretty much neutral, neither bullish nor bearish. Uh, but uh, if we do have the market trading down below there, that would be a bearish indication with our Ichimoku charts. And now, as we can see, looking back, uh, the market hasn't traded down below that area for quite some time, and the market hasn't, in fact, even traded anywhere near the Kijun Sen for quite some time, and that ter tells us something about the very explosive move that the market's had today. Down below the, uh, these regions of support, we should also look to the Ichimoku cloud to act as support, and that extends from roughly 12.30 to 
down to uh, 1207 and below there we have a round number 1200. So if the market does uh, fall apart very quickly then we should expect to find decent support down around those levels. But we have these other areas that we've mentioned previously to watch and certainly still watch 1300 although it's not likely that we will be testing that over the next few days. It remains a very strong area of resistance but the trend is still technically not uh, down even though the bears have taken total control of this market and we have an extremely bearish move today.